The defense is cross-examining the investigating officer in the case against multiple murder accused on Tati Lesibati. Now, testifying at the bail proceedings in Brits that uh, the magistrate's court yesterday, Isaac Tlapi, told the court that the teenager ordered a hit on her family because she was, quote-unquote, to be free. Now, the investigating officer also claims that Sibati paid the two alleged hitmen 100,000 rand from the payouts she received from her parents' estate. Her father, mother and pregnant sister and the little brother were killed in 2016. Let's get the latest now from uh, our reporter, Tseho Achimo Ache, who is covering this story. Tseho, good morning to you. It's uh, yet another uh, disturbing story from the one we saw last year where a family member would basically take out hits on their family members in order to get payouts. But the statement that she was to, quote-unquote, be free... What was that about? What was the officer trying to explain to the court there? Well, um, Oli, good morning to you. That is something that we'll get definitely when accused number two, Untatile Sebati's attorney, actually cross-examines the officer around that statement about her apparently saying that she just wanted to be free from her family. So we are expecting to get that clarity throughout today um, as the cross-examination of the investigating officer continues. But at this stage, Holly, we have seen the, the, the cross-examination of the investigating officer taking place this morning where accused number one's advocate really just going on about, you know, things like were they too young to have actually carried out this? Could have been an issue of them being excited at that age? We've also heard from the advocate asking the investigating officer around the issues of whether accused number one actually cooperated with what had taken place, was, uh, cooperated with handing himself over to the police. This is something that the investigating officer, Colonel Tlapi, is saying that that is definitely the case. Accused number one did cooperate with handing himself over to the police, even though it did not happen on the same day that he had gone to the family home to try and find accused number one, as Tumelo Mukoni, who is accused number one, was not home at the time. He had gone to Harankua, and the investigating officer telling the court that he had requested that as soon as he comes back, that his parents call him and tell him that Tumelo Mukoni has returned. However, that did not happen, but they did hand him over to the police the following day. And another thing that the, the advocate has really spoke about was whether they were too young and that they carried out this as a form of excitement and the investigating officer saying that, well, if you are at that age, I mean, if you think about it fully, they were about 18 years old, these two boys, when this incident took place, Untatile Sitabi herself, Sibati herself being about 15 at the time, and the investigating officer saying, well, if you think about it, at that age, you should actually be scared to hold a gun. Instead, they were able to get hold of um, Untatile Sibati's father's web firearm, and they carried it throughout the day, during the day, before they got the time and the chance to actually kill the family later in the evening. So those are some of the issues that have transpired here in court this morning and more of this cross-examination expected to continue after the tea break. More updates from Tsehoa Jumu'ahi throughout the day. Thank you very much for the time being.